a new edition of France in Focus. This week we're at the Ferme du Piqueur, a 19th century farm just west of Paris, where little city dwellers get a taste of country life. But don't be fooled by the idyllic surroundings. Unfortunately, the agriculture sector is once again in the red. In 2015, the price of milk, pork and beef plummeted below production costs. And with little signs of change in 2016, farmers are left in an untenable situation. Well, let's start with a look at the crisis, the causes behind it and the political solutions so far. Ring roads blocked, tires burning on the roadway and waste dumped outside supermarkets. French farmers say they're fed up and in debt and say their industry is in crisis. What we want today is for supermarkets to buy our products at a fair price. The pork and dairy industries have been particularly affected. The price of milk, for instance, has plummeted ever since the EU ended milk quotas last year that imposed restrictions on the volume of milk that a farmer could produce. Scrapping the system meant they could make and sell as much as they wanted to compete with foreign markets. But for many farmers, low milk prices has seen their income dwindle. It's a similar story for the pork industry too. The price of pork, for instance, hovers around a euro and six cents per kilo, whereas the cost of production is a euro fifty. But it's not just about supermarket profit margins. The industry says there's unfair competition from foreign agricultural sectors, which are not subjected to the same health regulations, like growth hormones and antibiotics, that's outlawed in France, but is used by other European farmers. In response, the government has announced it will cut social charges by 7% and created an 825 million euro support fund at the end of last year. But some farmers say this is simply not good enough. We're tired of highly publicized superficial financial aids. What we want is a fair price. We love our profession, but we can't take it any longer. Their fight is far from over, and farmers will no doubt be hoping to discuss their battles on their own turf at the Paris Agriculture Fair. Well, rather than fight to see another day on the farm, a growing number of professionals are preferring to throw in the towel. Thierry Duval is one of them. This is the last time this truck will come to retrieve livestock destined for the slaughterhouse. Cherry Duval is selling his last 15 cows. A year ago, he had 115. A heartbreaking decision for the dairy farmer. Despite following in his father's footsteps, Duval says he can no longer make a go of it. It's better to do this than to go bankrupt. It's like being fired. It's the end of an era. You have to find another way to make a living. Just last year, he lost 7,000 euros on the sale of his milk. There comes a time when you just can't pay any more taxes. You feel like a scapegoat. Duval is paid 28 cents per litre of milk, but says he needs at least 35 cents to make a living. He has never been able to negotiate, like when he sells his cows for meat the slaughterhouse will set the price. This livestock seller is known to many farmers in the region who've thrown in the towel. Over the past year and a half, it's become a regular occurrence, emptying milk farms, milk producers who have to stop. Over the past 20 years, France has lost 5,000 dairy farms annually. But this year, that number could double. A milking parlor that now stands empty. For Duval, France won't have much of a role in the future of milk production. I'm thinking of Germany, Poland. They have access to a workforce which is four times less expensive than ours. Taxes four times lower than ours. So we can't compete with them. It's just impossible. Personnel costs run 100,000 euros a year. Now that he's stopped producing milk, he's worried about what his employees will do next. Well, I'm disappointed. It was a job just a kilometre from my house, a job I enjoyed, but I can understand why my boss is packing it in, given today's prices. As before, Duval will cultivate his 200 hectares. He'll continue to receive EU subsidies. At 43 years old, Duval now hopes selling cereal will be enough to support his family.
Now, with consumers increasingly drawn to the eco-friendly option of locally produced and sourced foods, supermarkets have been quick to jump on the Locavore bandwagon. And while the Made in France brand can be a winning formula for all those involved, it's often little more than a marketing ploy. These farmers didn't come to the supermarket to shop, they want to talk to management. They say they're proud to support us, let's check it out. In the meat section, they read labels. Their pork is nowhere in sight. Look, this pork was processed in France. The meat comes from France or Spain. The manager tries to defuse the tension without much success. Where is this from? Tell your clients. The EU. The EU? DE means Germany. We want to support French agriculture. We have rules to follow and commitments. You know that. Supermarkets say they sell local. But most don't, and when they do, they buy at very low prices. But there are some exceptions, like the supermarket in Pontarlier. This apple juice is pressed 20 kilometers from the store. You won't find this product in another region or in Paris. How many local products do you sell? I didn't count, but they represent around 20% of sales. It's huge if you compare it with other supermarkets. In the butcher section, all the products are local. That's very good. Why? It's good to make local businesses work. Even with local products, prices are about the same. How do they do it? The manager buys the products himself, and never at more than 30 kilometers away from the store. That's his strategy. No intermediaries. He selects the animals. In the following two months, they're slaughtered, processed, and placed on his shelves. I want this one and the first one we talked about. There will be no negotiation over the price. The manager is offering €5.50 Euros 50 per kilo, much more than any other buyer. It's a good deal for us. It's 10 to 20 percent above market prices. There's no mystery over the price gap. Other supermarkets use intermediaries and they push prices down so they can make more profits. They then sell the meat to the processor. We don't go through that chain. I work directly with the farmers. Removing intermediaries may have other advantages. Some say it's also a good way to improve traceability. an adapt or die situation farmers are left to take matters into their own hands and diversify for some aiming for the premium end of the market has proved a success reinventing themselves to keep their heads above water it's the choice this family in normandy had to make seven years ago they decided to mix things up on the farm starting by going organic but finding themselves dependent on prices fixed by the cooperative they decided to make further changes their idea, caramels, a concept which has sweetened profits. Before, there was a middleman who took their margin after the wholesaler or whoever sold the product. And if you break that cycle, then you're also enabling the consumer to have a product as affordable as possible. The caramels are sold directly from the farm and in delicatessens, bringing business back on track. France's great milk crisis back in 2009 is now just a sour, distant memory. Innovative business plans like this one are flourishing on farms all over France, and it's often young people bringing the changes. Here in the Pyrenees, this family specialising in milk and cheese sales is today producing yoghurt straight from the farm, an initiative brought into action by 22-year-old Aurélie, who joined the family business with a plan to expand it. We started out making 100 pots per week. Now we're up to 4,000. When we started seeing the difference it made, we really went for it. The family fixes their own prices to distributors, and over two years, the farm's revenue has almost doubled. 
In northern Brittany, this poultry farmer has been setting aside 15% of eggs laid for two years now to make fresh pasta. A new production which currently makes up half of his revenue. In his shop, prices are set around 20% higher than those of bigger producers, but products are flying off the shelves. Well, that's it from us from the Ferme du Piqueur. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to France 24.